Okay, if you and I want to set, you know, the atmosphere for the presence of God, one thing we need to do, now there's several, but one thing is anoint your house with oil. You say, I have never heard of anything like that in my life. What about in the Old Testament when the death angel was coming and they anointed the doorposts with the blood of Jesus? You understand it. It kept the death angel away from the Israelites' families. They, didn't, it, it, they weren't touched. Mm-hmm. Pleading the blood of Jesus and anointing your house will keep your family from being touched. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying the enemy's not going to fight against you. He fights against all of us because we're in a fallen world. He is the God of this world. Satan is. But there are things that we're led to do sometimes. And one of them is anoint your house with oil. Mm-hmm. Anoint the doors. Anoint the windows. Anoint the walls. Mm-hmm. Now... I can tell you, um, do I need to switch out? No, okay. Um, we, we get crazy when we're slinging oil. Now, we don't, we don't do that. I mean, it's not like, you know, like every three weeks we do this or something. It's something we do every now and then as we're, we're led. It's not something, you know, I couldn't give you a time on it. it, it the Holy Spirit will give you a time on it. But all I can tell you is, is she'll get an oil bottle. You could use Crisco. You got no oil in your house. Take some Crisco, that's oil. You, you, got, you got olive oil. You got, I don't care, canola. What does it matter? Vegetable oil. Just use oil. Anoint with oil. People get so hung up on exactly what it's got to be. It's got to be olive oil. It's got to be a little thing from, you know, overseas. That's, that's craziness. That's craziness. I, I mean, people do. They get hung up on the little things like that. And it's not about any of that. Okay. When we do it, we're walking around our house. And, and when I say around. I'm basically speaking the inside of our house most of the time. We do go outside and do the doors and stuff, but we don't do the, the whole property. But anyway, we, we just, we anoint stuff and we're praying in the spirit. Now, if you were just looking at us, it looks like the craziest thing you've ever seen. We're just marching from room to room, but, you know, uh, marking the doors. We're marking the windows. We're marking, you know, anything in the house, the dogs. Yes. Charlie will have oil on his head. Abby will have oil on her head. Gracie will have oil on her head. Granny will have oil on her head. You understand? We will. I mean, we anoint everything in the house. We, I mean, we're just anointing. We're just being led. I mean, you know, it's not a religious practice. We're doing it because we're saying the blood of Jesus covers this house. The blood of Jesus covers our animals. The blood of Jesus covers us. The blood of Jesus. We're praying. We're praying in the Spirit. We're making word-based declarations. No weapon formed against me or my family will prosper. No weapon formed against this, this house will prosper. No plague will come to our dwelling. No plague will come to our dwelling. We bind accidents. We bind falls. We bind evil. No evil shall befall my family. No evil shall befall my house. We declare the mercy of God is in our family. The mercy of God is over our house. What you're doing and what I'm doing when we anoint our houses is we are clearing the atmosphere. Yes. By anointing our house and by pleading the blood of Jesus Christ, we're setting the atmosphere in our home for a greater move of God and we're clearing the atmosphere of anything, any evil spirits that could have came there and got attached into our home somehow. See, sometimes we have interference in the atmosphere and it needs to be cleared. I mean, sometimes you, you may be going through a period where you're just having nightmare after nightmare after nightmare after nightmare. It's a good time to anoint the house. Right. Anoint the pillow. Anoint the bed. Amen. I'm serious. It's a good time. You're having attack after attack after attack. The enemy's attacking. Wait a minute. We got the blood of Jesus. We, we, got, we got that anointing oil. Where is it at? No weapon formed against us will prosper. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. This thing's not going to stay. We, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set this atmosphere and the devil's got to go. Now, I don't, I don't, I'm not one that likes to talk a lot about the devil because it gives him too much glory. But in this particular situation today, I must say it. But there is a very real spiritual world that we're at war against. And we can't see it with our natural eyes. Now, here's something that I read. and I, Oh, my God. I had never saw this this way before. And this just blew me away. I, I should have realized this. But this is so good. Anointing your home 